missing event value parameter. This is a warning or an error that you can see inside your events manager. And uh, I want to explain why you have it, how you can fix it, and if it's a real problem or not. Let's see the message. Okay. One or more of your AutoCard events is missing a value parameter. This may affect your ability to see return on ad spend calculations. So this is very important, may affect. I'm having um, the, the, the error for three of my standard events, add to cart, view content, and initiate checkout. I've seen it for um, custom events as well. And for custom events, it doesn't make any sense at all. But even for these standard events, it's rarely a problem. And I'm going to explain why. First of all, when do you have a view content or a, an add to cart event? This is a WooCommerce website. And if I'm visiting a product page, I will trigger a view content event. If I'm adding this product to cart, I will have an add to cart event. If I go on the checkout page, I will have an initiate checkout event. And if I'm purchasing, this product, I will have a purchase event. So every time there is a transaction, you will have a purchase event and the purchase event always has a value parameter. The view content event. Well, the view content event doesn't mean that I'm buying something from you. Maybe I'm just landing on this page. I don't like the product, the product. Uh, I don't like the picture. It's too expensive. Who knows? I'm not buying it. There is no value for this particular event. The only event that has a value for real is the purchase event. And in fact, if you have all these pro uh, all these events, the view content, add to cart, initiate checkout event without value, but if the purchase event has the value parameter, you always you are always able to track return on ad spend. And let me just show you what you need to do. This is uh, the ads manager, uh, not a real uh, account, just a, a, a dummy account. And you can customize the columns like this, customize columns. Search for purchase. And this is what you need to have in your uh, columns. Purchase return on ad spend. This is the exact value you want to know. You can also add purchases, which is the number of uh, purchase events fired. Unique purchase. Basically, uh, the number of purchase events fired for by every uh, visitor. value and cost and unique cost. Okay. You can also um, drag them like this. Well, you get the idea. And you can apply. And now you will be able to tell how many purchases was the purchase conversion value and was the return on ad spend again you can uh, change the position of the columns so every time you have a purchase event tracking value you will be able to uh, uh, know the correct return on ad spend it's not really uh, connected to a view content or add to cart or initiate checkout or any other uh, custom event. But if you want to get rid of these warnings, you can simply add value to these events. And if you use pixel, your site is very, very simple. Just open the plugin. Go on WooCommerce, 
scroll find this section here default e-commerce events track purchases this event always always has a value so you don't have to do anything but the checkout page is related to the initiate checkout event and you can enable value and there are several options products price this is the default um, option if you use our cost of goods plugin you'll have this one too basically the profit or a percent of the product's value or a global value so you can decide between all these options you can do so for uh, initiate checkout add to cart again turn on or off off or on this is now on uh, product pages this is the view content event and save so now all these um, WooCommerce related events will have value if you have uh, custom made events or manually added events using our events tab you can do the same you can add value to every um, event I'm just showing uh, you how to do it look for this section Facebook and basically add parameters if it's a custom event you will have to name every single parameter if it's a, a standard event you will already have a pre-select set of uh, parameters so simply add value and select uh, the currency you want to, to 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 use and again save so now this event will have value um, it's not mandatory but it will help you get rid of these warnings again there are nothing to worry about because you will be able to um, track the return on ad spend using the purchase event value why do we have uh, these warnings I don't know maybe Facebook wants to use value in some other ways maybe to uh, understand what event is more important for your business I don't know they do this kind of stuff for uh, value-based lookalikes where uh, the events value is used to identify the most uh, uh, important visitors of your website and they create lookalikes based on this information I don't know if they use value in this way anyway you can simply uh, add value to all these WooCommerce events and eventually get rid of the warnings that you have here uh, for our um, custom events like our general event or the click event it's not possible to track value for those I'm talking about these events here because there are no values to track for them I mean for this this search events tracks uh, searches there is no value in that uh, this event tracks clicks uh, you cannot add a value to every single click someone makes on a website uh, so if you see uh, warnings or errors related to these events values simply ignore them they're they are not real but for all the other WooCommerce or if you use easy digital downloads events you can uh, enable values the way I showed you and uh, th these these warnings will uh, go away or you can mark them as resolved once you add value but the most important thing is to have uh, a purchase event tracking value and to have um, your columns customized like this always tracking the purchase event value and the purchase event return on ad spend